What's up, Dilio? Coming back to you live. We're back talking about the MPC3 software upgrade, the firmware upgrade. And in this video, I just want to kind of go over some details that I saw. I actually watched the official Akai video. And I definitely learned a lot more about the platform. It makes it seem like it's so much more uh, interesting. However, I am still a little curious about song mode and arrange mode. So as I saw it, according to the Akai video, what they, de what they demonstrated was this. They demonstrated that you could take your sequence, your pattern, sequence pattern, say it's four bars, and then when you go into arrange mode, or before you even go into the arranger view or arranger mode, you have to duplicate that sequence. So if you duplicated a sequence four times, that's four bars, you get 16 bars. And if you keep doing that, 32, 64, and about 128 measures, you got about the length of the song. And then that is all built from the seed of the original sequence, right? And that reminded me of how I used to arrange tracks in Reason, because in Reason, you know, you're always dealing with that DAW view of sequencing your stuff, even though you might be using Redrum, clicking stuff in. And I remember there was a function you could right click on Redrum to put the pattern down into the sequence, but that's not what this video is about. This is about MPC. Anyway, so you take that sequence, you duplicate it, double the length, right? terminology you double the length from four bars eight bars 16 bars and then you get this massive long sequence that in a range review you can then cut and trim and make special edits you can do automation and have an automation on the uh, master track was actually pretty dope i actually was pretty excited to see that and then you got your song length sequence that was seeded from the original sequence and but what i still didn't see and what i still didn't see demonstrated was like okay one-to-one -one track thing, I get that, and that's another tangent I'll go to in a second. But you you, you basically have that one sequence and it ranges out. So if I had more than one sequence inside of this project, how do those two come together? Do those two come together in song mode? Or is that gone now? And in order to arrange your tracks like a song, you have to do it this way. It would be very disappointing if MPC 3.0 allows you to make song length tracks, but you have to get there through only one sequence. I don't believe that's the case. I haven't really seen it demonstrated yet. I like that you can have track markers on your arranger, but I'd like to have the option to do it either way. I would like to have the option to take one sequence and double the length three or four times to get you that song length and then trim and cut off of that. And let's not forget about track mutes. I didn't really see like track mutes demonstrated. I I, I kind of like that when you had a sequence and you copied that sequence from one to two, sequence two can have certain tracks muted. And then in song mode, you automatically had it stuff muted, tracks muted throughout the whole song. But I didn't really see that demonstrated. So I'm very curious about that. But another thing that got kind of convoluted <laughs> when I was doing sequences on the MPC 2.0 software is that like, say I had a plugin, bass plugin on track one. And then I had my drum program on track two, right? And then I invertedly did another sequence. And now I'm doing a sequence two and that original plugin that was on track one, the MIDI data is on track three, but it's still one plugin. So how did the MPC software, where do you see how kind of confusing it gets? So, you know, what, what happens if you got four different sequences and each one of those plugins is being tra triggered by different tracks that kind of, I tried to avoid that scenario as much as possible, but it's not impossible to run into that situation on the 2.0 software. So you could kind of, it can kind of get messy, especially if you're trying to export to a DAW like Studio One, which is like my workflow. I like to sequence my tracks in MPC, get them song length, and then stem them out or track them out, and then import them on Studio One in which I record full length songs that way. Uh, because that's just my workflow. I really like the workflow of Studio One. It's, it's Pro Tools-esque. You got your tracks, it's got a good control. That's not broken for me. And even though the Akai software and well, the firmware for right now does start to allude to that kind of direction, it makes you wonder about the track polyphony because under 2.0 software, you have eight channels of audio and you got unlimited sequencing sounds. But then as far as like audio tracks, you were limited to eight. So maybe that limitation is removed because of the disc streaming capability. However, I'm a little interested about that and I'm really wondering how does that work? Again, we haven't seen song mode demonstrated 
on the 3.0 software. And I'm curious, is, is that going away? Will we have, will we only be stuck to one sequence? I don't think that's the case that we're just only gonna have one sequence, but you know, I rather liked having more than one sequence, although it may be a little long-winded to copy the data from one sequence to sequence two, especially if you want to play a different music, different music part for that sequence two, while preserving the drum track from sequence one, you know, it takes a little bit of work because on sequence two, you got to erase the previous information or go to a, a clean track, mute the previous track from the previous sequence and then play your new riff. It just, so maybe that's done away with on the 3.0 software. I'm very curious about that. And also we haven't seen any indication of the software so far. Obviously this is a beta. It may be a hardware beta only, but it is my theory that by the time the beta drops, the software will be ready for beta testing as well. So that's probably why we're in this time frame of two weeks because the engineers at Akai are finishing the software. Akai has sort of this style of, all right, I think they really want to get stuff as fast as they can to people. But the trade-off to that is that all features are not finished. Case in point, the stems thing. Stems first dropped on software, then it came on hardware. And, and so in this case, maybe the firmware is ready to show right now on hardware right now but software is not quite ready yet so maybe that two weeks is going to give them a little bit of time to get that together i'm primarily a software user in the studio and then i'm a hardware guy obviously out in the field so i'm very curious about that let me know what you think about the song mode and about the software do you think that we're going to have software when the beta drops who knows but i definitely hear your points like comment subscribe subscribe y'all i saw a lot of people look at my last video and not too many people subscribe but those who did thank you we're back. NPC is popping again. I'm enjoying that. I was kind of sleep a little while, but oh, oh, three. All right. I'm awake. I'm awake. All right. Let's go. I'll see you later.